This episode of Hack Tip is brought to you by Ops Genie. Your next incident doesn't stand a chance. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm your host, Shannon Morris, and today we are adding data to our new program using variables. Yay! Variables are fun. They give you a way of repeating data throughout your script or your program without the need to retype something over and over and over again, because if there's one thing we don't like to do, it's retyping things over and over again. This not only saves time over the long run, especially with real Really long programs, but it also keeps you from making typos and mistakes. And if you do make a typo in your variable, you only have to change it once instead of 20 times, for example. So in our sysinfo report, we have this line that says title, and I'll show you it on my computer here. Okay, here's our line that says title right here. And I also want there to be a title in the body of text. Instead of repeating that line down here again in the body of text, I'm going to add a title variable, and I will add that right underneath my comments. So a title variable would look like this. Title equals quote, and then I'll put sys info report. Cool, that's it. And between that head and body HTML tags, I'm also going to add the variable like so. Here, I'm just going to delete all that text, that string of text, if you will, and I'm going to add dollar sign title right there. And then under the body of text, I'm gonna add, I'll just do a header, which is H1. That's pretty big font. And then slash H1 at the end and close that out. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. Save and close, and I'll go ahead and run it. Yay! So that's cool. Now I can stick that title variable string pretty much wherever I want, and I will see those changes in my program. See, variables are pretty cool. Now there are some rules that you will run into with variables. Uh, for example, in the shell, you could also create variables automatically. So for example, I could type in I'm gonna type in Starbucks because I got Starbucks on the mind because they just introduced their peppermint mocha frappuccinos because, you know, holiday season and all that. So I'm just gonna type in Starbucks frappuccino and hit enter. And then if I type in something like Echo Starbucks, it's going to give me the standard output which says frappuccino, cool. Now it automatically made that into a variable. I didn't have to turn that into a program or anything. But now if I echo something like dollar sign Starbucks with a lowercase s, it doesn't give me anything, it outputs nothing. Spelling is important and so is capitalization. You also have to start your variables with a letter or an underscore and they can only consist of letters, numbers, and underscores only, and that's it. So let's go ahead and open our program again with gedit, and I'm going to go ahead and do some more edits. For another pro tip, uh, one convention you might wanna consider is using uppercase for your constant, that's the title of your variable, and then using lowercase for your variable. That will make it a little bit easier to see where the variables are set in the program, and it's something that a lot of programmers currently do. So I will just go up here, and I will change title to uppercase title. I'll do the same down here, or else it won't work. And title, there we go. Okay, that was easy. I'll go ahead and save that and close it out and make sure those changes were saved. Hey, it still works, awesome, yay. Now after the break, we are going to add a variable inside our variable because I heard you like variables, so we're gonna add some variables to your variables. Stay tuned. Incidents are inevitable. They can happen at any time and how your company responds matters. Dealing with incidents when they happen requires coordination between your ops and your software dev teams, who are honestly unsung heroes who put out fires every single day. So getting alerts immediately is critical whenever an incident occurs. That's why there's Opt Genie by Atlassian. Ops Genie empowers your team to plan for service disruptions and stay in control. It gives teams the power to respond quickly and efficiently to unplanned issues, and it helps to notify all the right people through a smart combination of scheduling and escalation paths that take into account things like time zones and holidays. Huh, who'd have thought? Ops Genie also allows for deep flexibility in how, when, and where alerts are deployed, and it's supported by over 200 integrations like Jira, Amazon CloudWatch, Datadog, New Relic, and a lot more. 
It tracks all activity and it provides useful insights to improve future incident responses. I mean, when you're running an online service for thousands or even just a few customers, they're going to notice whenever something goes down. And if your main op is on vacation, you don't wanna be the one trying to figure out how to solve the issue and get your customers back online while you're also trying to run the company. So Ops Genie will escalate that issue to the right person who is available, your unsung heroes, for example, and they can solve the issue and your customers are happy. We all want customers to be happy. Now with Ops Genie, your next incident doesn't stand a chance. Visit OpsGenie.com to sign up to get a free company account and add up to five team members, no credit card required. That's OpsGenie.com. Never miss a critical alert again with Ops Genie. We are now back, so we're going to add a variable inside that variable because I know you like variables. So to do so, edit your program. I'm opening mine in gedit again, and I'm going to add something right here to my variable. So I'm going to change it so it says title equals since info report for host name. That's fun, except no J there because I don't need a J there. Save that, go ahead and close, and I'm gonna go ahead and open it again in Firefox, yay. And now it says sysinfo report for snubs XPS because that's the host name of my computer. Ah, oh, so cool. Okay, close out of that. So that little thingamajig that I just did is called expansion. So let's go ahead and expand on expansions. So say you wanna do more than just add a host name. Anytime you use a constant with a variable, you need to type it the same way. The constant variable name, and then you have an equal sign, and then you have the value with no spaces in between, whether that value is a string in quotes or it's a mathematical equation or whatever it might be. So we can go ahead and make some random variables inside our program. Program. So in order to do so, I'll type in some new ones right below here. So I'll name the next one Starbucks because, you know, Frappuccinos are awesome. Notice that I didn't put any kind of spaces in there because if I did, it would screw it up. The one we already made up here, title equals sysinfo for hostname, that one is a string with another variable inside of there for expansion. I could even run one that says something like um, moon equals dollar sign and run an equation like two times two. Or I could use a sequence of commands like Saturn equals, if you wanna use a string of commands, you need to make sure that you put it in quotes. So I could do this slash T slash TA string and then slash N for new line and hit enter. And of course, I'll wanna capitalize all of these. So Saturn, Moon, Starbucks, there we go. And then if I wanted to, I could add these down here. So I will use, let's see, I have a body of text. I'll use H2 for header two style. And I'll do Starbucks. I'll do another header two so it's easy to read on screen. And this one I'll use Moon, and then I'll do another header two and put in Saturn. Okay, let's see what happens when I do that. I'm gonna hit save. Cool. So in this case, we see Frappuccinos are awesome, which is the string of text that was not in quotes because there's no spaces. Then we have the mathematical equation right underneath there, two times two, which does equal four. So I'll go ahead and close out of there. So now we know what to do with variables, let's go ahead and add in some actually useful data to our program. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back into my program and just delete all those additional variables that I made because we don't really need them. And now I'm going to add in some variables that will actually be useful. So we're going to put the first one as current time and do a second variable called time stamp and put current time by user. So, so that looks good. It looks like there's no mistakes in there. So moving on, I'll go ahead and go down a little bit lower and put some more information underneath the body of text. So under here, I'm going to create a new paragraph with P and do time stamp. And that's it. 
Now you will notice that I did not use current time down here for timestamp. That's because timestamp already includes current time as an expansion inside of it along with user. So what will happen is down here, I'll see the timestamp that says generated and then this information for current time by and then the user, which it picks up automatically. So I'll save that. Okay, let's see if it worked. Cool, that looks awesome. Yay, I'm so happy it worked. So first we have sysinfo report for snubs xps, which is the first variable that we have, the title. This is body text yay, which is just a simple string that was in there, that's not a variable. And then we have timestamps. So this says generated, and then 11 9 2018 and then 4.47 p.m. PST. So the, that is the exact time that you see up here, except by off by a minute, because you know, it's a minute longer now, by user snubs. And you'll notice that that's what I'm currently logged in as down here is snubs. Cool, yay, everything worked. Now stay tuned because coming up on Hack Tip, we're going to be making this program even more useful. And until then, I wanna hear your feedback. What programs are you using? Comment below and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack 5, for more great stuff just like this. And don't forget to trust your technolusts.